Good morning, Bob at the Dexter in Apple Valley, Minnesota. Today we're going to talk about the new Fortress Post Cap being introduced in the spring of 2012. The neat thing about the Fortress Post Cap is it allows us to add a light module to the cap and illuminate different sides of the cap. Now Fortress makes these caps in several different colors. We're able to get them in an antique, a white, and a black to match around. They'll come in different sizes, so everywhere from a 2 inch to a 5 inch cap. Let's go take a look at how we install these light modules into these post caps. Come on with me. All right, we've already done the hard part. We've selected the cap of the deck store, and we're here to help you do that. And it's important that you get the proper cap. Not all caps fit all the posts, so they've got to be sized correctly. They come in a 5 inch all the way down to a 2 inch cap. For this application, we've selected the 3.5 inch black fortress cap. Now, to install the light module, we've got to begin by taking out the four screws in the corner of the cap. They're actually a relatively small screw, and according to the directions, all we're going to need is a Phillips screwdriver. So let's give this a test and find out. I've already removed three of the screws. The fourth screw, right here, let's take it out. We're going to remove the base of the cap. The filter, the dust filter, keeps the insects from getting inside your cap. We're going to set that aside. We're not going to need that for this next step. And then the top. The light tree is going to be installed using has four LED modules on it. It's going to be installed with the same Phillips screwdriver. Simply place the light module in place, install the screw, and repeat. There's no particular order that these need to go in. Now if you decide you're only going to light two of the sides or one of the sides, pretty simple. Just don't install the modules. Or if you do install the modules, snip the wire and that'll disable that particular light. You can buy these also on a single light module should you decide to light just one side of the cap or reserve the ones you cut off an existing module for other uses. So we're going to screw these all down and then we're going to repeat the process and just put this cap together. This didn't take very long. Easy to do. The, the machine through screws are pre-threaded and so far they've been accurate. We've only needed a Phillips screwdriver. Pull the wire harness through, place the cap in place, and reapply the four small machine screws and there you have it the last screw that's a pretty cool cap this is going to change the way we put post lights on decks come on let's go install this one on the deck and I'll show you what it looks like all right now we're ready to install our post cap as you can see we've pre-wired our posts and in this case we've used a special transformer we've selected a 30 watt Fortress Transformer. It's a DC transformer, and that's important to note in that LED lights will have a positive and a negative terminal. You need to carry that all the way through from your transformer, through your wiring, to your post cap. If you look closely at your wiring, one side will be identified with a stripe or small letters. I like to use that as my positive side so that I can keep track of it. So let's hook these post caps up. We're going to take our positive to the positive. Now this is normally done in the power off position. But for this demonstration, I'm going to leave the power in the arms. It's just a low voltage light. Not very likely that we're going to cause a, an electrical hazard. And then we're going to hook these two together. Now it's important to note to stay 5 to 10 feet away from your hot tubs. You've got to follow the other building and electrical code rules. But there you have it. We've got them lit up. Now we don't want these two wires to come in contact with each other. So we're going to use a gel filled wire nut. Apply them over the top. Simply press it in. Twist them into place. Pretty simple application. And that's going to keep any water and moisture from getting inside of there. They all contain just a little bit of gel inside of there, and it seals it up very, very nicely. They twist on. Make sure they're good and snug. Push them down into the post. Now, we've left all this extra wire on. We've made a big enough hole in the post that we can place all that into it. We're going to assemble our cap, put it on top, and there you have it. Notice that the lights are angled inward, so it's going to illuminate all the sides of the post very nicely. If for some reason we didn't want the light on the side, we could simply remove that module or not light it. There you have it. It's as easy as that. One, two, three. Thank you.